Hello all, today I'll be discussing on the top persons of ancient Greece. In the about ancient Greece, well, we all know about uh, ancient civilization, the philosophy, the art, the literature, the architecture. Yeah, of course. So about uh, ancient Greek civilization, it began in 8th century BC. And this time of ancient uh, Greek civilization, it's divided into three categories. The first one is the archaic period. The second is the classical period. And while the third is the Hellenistic period. An idiot, if I don't tell you the fact behind the history of English language, that it has borrowed words from Greek. And uh, some of these words are idiot, history, music, democracy, etc. literature which was produced, only a small proportion of them still survives. And this small proportion of Greek literature is very significant to the study of English literature. You know why? Because of all the canonical writers from Chaucer to Milton have their own share of mythological influences in their works. Moving on to our list of Top authors of ancient Greece. The sixth writer in our list is Sappho. Sappho, she lived around 600 BC and um, she was born to the island of Lesbos and she belongs to the end of um, Archaic period and she is a well known lyric poet and her, she was one of the published female writers. Most of her poems are love poems and especially. They deal on love between women and the word lesbian has derived from uh, her island of birth and also the word sapphic has come from her name Sappho and also most of her poems are lost and some of them exist in fragments and these lines iridescent throned Aphrodite, deathless child of Zeus, wild viewer, I now implore you, don't, I beg you lady. With pains and torments, crash down my spirit. And these lines are from her only poem, which exists in the completed form. And it is Ode to Aphrodite. And the fifth writer in our list is Aristophanes. In the part, Aristophanes is the most famous figure of classical comedy. Why he is the most famous? The answer is as simple as that, because a large part of his works still exists. He has written about 40 plays and out of which 11 plays survives, which is pretty good. And about Aristophanes, he was born in 446 uh, BC and he is greatly known for his ability to mock many social and political figures. And his play, The Clouds, it criticizes Socrates. And his another important play is The Frogs, which aimed at Euripides. And here is a list of his 11 plays that exist now. And the next writer in our list of top authors of ancient Greece is known for being the father of Greek tragedy. Of course, you might have guessed it right. It is Aeschylus. Aeschylus was a Greek writer and playwright of the classical period. He has written about 90 plays which include satire plays and tragedies. And out of these 90 plays, only 7 tragedies survived. And his notable works are Persians, Seven Against Thebes and Oresteia. And next order in our list is Euripides, whose 19 plays only survives out of the 92 plays written by him. And about Euripides, he reformed the traditional Greek tragedy by placing women at the center of his place. And the notable works by Euripides are Bacchae, the Trojan Women, and Medea. And about uh, Bacchae, the story is based on the King Pentheus of Thebes. Sophocles, he was born in 496 BC and belongs to the classical period. 
He has written above 100 plays, but only 7 scripts exist now. And his plays, Oedipus the King, Oedipus at Colonus, and Antigone are considered to be as trilogy, and it is named as Theban trilogy, even though they are not written in that order. And it is known as Theban trilogy because all these three plays were set in a place called Thebes. And the first author in our list of top authors of ancient Greece is a blind, wandering minstrel. Yes, guys, you might have guessed it right, it is Homer. Homer belongs to the archaic period, and nothing much is known of his history except the fact that he has written the two monumental epic poems, the Iliad and the Odyssey. The Iliad is set against the backdrop of the Trojan War, and the title Iliad has a connection with Troy. The title Iliad has come from the city of Troy. Do you know how the city of Troy is also known as the Ilium? So, Iliad, Ilium. And about Odyssey, it is a sequel to the Iliad and it depicts the journey of Odysseus back to Ithaca after the fall of Troy. Yes, guys, we have discussed our list of top authors of ancient Greece. Thank you for watching.